All right, welcome back to the Daddy Show. If this is your first time, please check out our other videos. We've got tutorials on uh, everything from family law insights, from what I've seen in that area, uh, to automotive tutorials and um, other insurance insights based on what I've seen in the insurance industry. Things that I help, think will help you guys out. So please uh, check out all the other videos on the channel. Stay tuned to this video. We're gonna do a brake job on my car. So I'm going to be rotating the tires and changing out the brakes on all four wheels. So um, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you get something out of this. Got some big news in the video as well, and uh, I'll tell you about that later on. So stay tuned for that. It's very exciting news. It's going to be awesome over the next few months to few years. So very cool stuff. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. Daddy Show here, getting ready to get started on doing the brake job and wheel rotation on my car and wanted to give you a quick sneak peek here at a vehicle that's going to be featured in future, featured in future videos and I uh, want you to subscribe, that way you can get notifications and videos are uploaded so that way you don't miss out on videos on this beauty right back here. So if you know what those taillights are, you know what the car is and you know you got something to look forward to. I'm also going to stress safety here. I'm going to be using jack stands. I'll be giving some tips and pointers on what to do um, as a what if the, the car does fall off the jack stands and you need to get a jack underneath it to lift it up. So I'll uh, show you some things there that'll help you out and uh, stay tuned. All right, it's a little hot out here so I'm sweating a little bit, but I wanted to show you real quick the jack stands I got. And I got it up just high enough to get the tires off the ground while still giving plenty of clearance for the jack stands to safely hold the front of the car. Gonna work on the back now, I'll get back to you. All right, now I'm gonna show you one of my tips and tricks I was talking about, where I show you what to do um, just in case the car does fall off the jack stands. A little trick I learned a long time ago from a family friend. And basically, you take your tire and you put it underneath the car on the outside of the body, just like that. So that way if the car falls, it falls on that tire. And you can still get a jack stand back up underneath the tire. Or underneath the car. So little tip for you, hope that helps. I'm gonna get back to taking the rest of the tires off this thing and we're gonna get back to the brakes. All right, showing the caliper here. This is on the rear of the 2013 Nissan Altima. I've loosened this bolt here, this bolt down here. Now most cars you loosen both, remove the bottom and twist this whole thing up out of the way. But on this car it actually ended up being easier Ended up being a lot easier on this one to actually take the entire caliper off and just set it up on top of this bar right here. So that's what I'm going to do on this one. I've already done the other side. I had to do a little TLC with the uh, lubrication and some grease on these bolts right here. They do uh, come all the way up inside here and the grease gets old after a while and needs to be changed out. So. Um, or just breaks down and disappears. And in my case, a lot of it's missing. So went ahead and changed that out, added some extra grease to it on the other side and uh, got it changed out. So it was definitely a need of being done. It's the first time I've done it on this car. Whoever did it before me has obviously waited a while to do it, but uh, not too bad a shape. So gonna get going here, get the rear done, and then we'll go on to the fronts. All right. Well, I just about got it completely done. Actually, I am done. Um, just gotta put the wheels back on. But uh, sorry I didn't get too much footage of what I was doing. I'm busy and I got really dirty fingers so it's been really hard to, to uh, film here and actually that's the cleanest they've been for a while. And uh, so I cleaned them off a little bit before I grabbed the camera. But I uh, wanted to quickly show you here what, uh, what the finished product looks like. So on this one, I just had to take out this bolt here, which is only about, about this long, and one down here, 
And actually, I, sorry, I take that back. I took this bolt down here out, loosened this one, and folded the whole thing up, and grabbed a piece of old wire and wired it up to here to keep it up out of my way. And uh, I ended up having some issues with the uh, the kit that they gave me from Napa. Um, these things aren't the right size compared to the factory, and none of the none of the ones they gave me. They gave me a whole bunch of them, but none of the ones they gave me were the right size. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. Um, the pads themselves are the right shape, size, and, and everything. Uh, it's just the the metal pieces that insulate them from the caliper and the uh, the mounting bracket that aren't correct. So I don't know what what the deal is, but uh, yeah. So that that was a little frustrating, but other than that went really well. Make sure you push the brakes before you go anywhere. Make sure you pump them four or five times nice and slow, nice and easy. Make sure there's good pressure on those pads before you actually take off anywhere. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get the wheels back, get the wheels back on here and uh, show you guys what it looks like. So thanks for tuning in. All right, welcome back to the Daddy Show. I finished fixing my car, got the wheels rotated, and I got the brakes changed. And uh, one side was really bad. The inside pad was gone completely. It was almost metal on the rotor, so it was uh, getting to be a pretty bad deal. So caught it just in time before it really did any major damage. And um, just got done getting out of the shower. Sorry I didn't show you more steps and more of the process. You know, putting the tires back on, lowering the car, jacking it up, all that. So if you want to see stuff like that, please leave a comment. Let me know if that's something you really want to see. But uh, hopefully I cover at least the important parts. And um, the one thing I didn't show you and didn't cover yet was when you're putting on aluminum alloy wheels, especially custom wheels. A little thunder. Um, especially custom wheels, you want to make sure to use a torque wrench when you're putting the lug nuts back on. Um, put them on by hand to where they're hand tight and then grab the torque wrench and I put mine on at 65 and then I'll check them in again in a couple of days after the tires have, and wheels have had a time a chance to uh, had a time <laughs> after the wheels and tires have had a chance to warm up and cool off a couple of times I'll torque them again with a torque wrench uh, back to 65 foot pounds again but uh, you want to go every other lug nut 65 pounds and uh, torque them down that way I do 65 pounds, you can do whatever you want or whatever the manufacturer suggests or the uh, manufacturer of your custom wheels and uh, and do that. I think that's it, I think I cover everything. And uh, yeah, sorry I didn't show you more, I would love to have, have done that but it took me long enough to do what I did do and uh, it was really hot so I wanted to just get it done, get it knocked out and uh, show you the important stuff and get on with the day. So. Um, appreciate you tuning in here. Please watch other videos. Again, like I said, we're going to have videos about some other vehicles, um, some possible cars in the making. Um, might be actually building some cars. So, not sure on that yet. Can't fully disclose that yet, but uh, it's in process. So, we might have some really cool videos to show you here in the future. Um, but until then, we'll show you that beautiful blue car that I showed you earlier. That is a 1977 Corvette. There will be more videos on that and uh, the work we do on that car on a fairly regular basis. So uh, tune in for that, and uh, please like this video if you uh, if we earned it, and uh, please subscribe, that way you get notifications of all the videos, all the future videos of the Corvette, and the other uh, possible future builds. So um, again, this is The Daddy Show. Appreciate you tuning in, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Hey, real quick here, I wanted to give an extra little, little tidbit on this video about uh, Napa Auto Parts. They ended up uh, really coming through for me when I had an issue with the brake pads and not knowing if they didn't have the right hardware, if they gave me the wrong part number, I wasn't really sure. So um, what I did was I took the brake pads that I had back to another Napa, not the one I bought them from because it was too far away, um, but this other Napa auto store ended up looking at it and looked at the hardware guy goes back with it to find out if it was the wrong part number just what was going on and uh, he comes up and says um, you actually had one model year too old I need to go one model year newer so my car is a 2013 but it has 2014 model year brakes <clears throat> on the front really weird um, 2013 works perfect on the rear and it is a 2013 car so somewhere apparently between 13 and 14 model year 
they decided to uh, add the 2014 model year brakes a little early, I guess. So, not really sure of the details from what uh, what Nissan did, but wanted to give a big shout out to Nap on that. They did a great job taking care of me. Um, this particular store just warranted out the other pads and just gave me the new ones and said, here you go, go ahead and uh, get yourself taken care of. So, just wanted to give a big shout out to Nap on that. So, uh, you know, for me, they're, they're a great go-to. So, anyway, just wanted to share that.